Yesterday morning, I went on a mini vlog adventure with the Canon EOS M and the Sigma Art 18-35 f1.8 on a Metabone speed booster. I wanted to put this whole rig to the test and just see what I didn't like, you know, if there were any drawbacks or dropouts from the power bank. But I have to say that I was extremely, extremely pleased by the way this whole rig performed. Now the 18-35 is not a cheap lens, but it's definitely worth the money. I also have the Canon 18-135, and with that lens you do get 18mm, but all the way up to 135mm. So I would love to do a bit more comparison with these two lenses in the future. But all in all, the Sigma Art 18-35 f1.8 really produced stunning images with the Canon EOS M. Take a look. Alright, so I make my way to the Carlton Gardens, which is near the Melbourne Museum, and I get all my stuff ready for shoot. It's an absolute chilly day in Melbourne, it's like 11 degrees and with me I've got the Canon EOS M all rigged up with a new rig and a Sigma Art 18-35mm f1.8 on a speed booster because we're going to be shooting crop modes 2.5k and 2.8k which have around a 3 times crop so this speed booster is going to be extremely helpful and to get awesome battery life I've got a power pack on the back this is a power bank and it's connected into a dummy battery inside the Canon EOS M. So we're gonna put this to the test, this combo. I've also got a Tilta matte box at the front, but looking at the weather condition, it's quite windy and cold, so I don't think I'll use the matte box. However, at the front here, you can actually insert an ND filtration. So I've got a variable ND at the front. I can switch it from the front, no hassle at all. So you can, you know, keep the matte box on without switching it out. But uh, we're gonna put this combo to the test now, get some cinematic shots going, and I'll explain what I'm doing. Alright, so I've got the Canon EOS M here with a mini tripod and we're going to go get some ground shots with the Canon EOS M. Alright, so these are my settings. I'm shooting 2.8K RAW and I've enabled 10 bits so I get, you know, longer record times than usual. Alright guys, so what we're going to do next, it's the wind's picking up, it's getting quite windy. I'm going to go ahead and shoot some more with the Canon M, the Sigma Art 18-35, see if we can get some nice cinematic shots, and then we're going to head to the city, and there's this place called Acme, so you go inside and they showcase like technology of the past and technology of the future. It's a quite a dark space, and so I'm going to test out the Sigma 18-35, see how it does in low light with the f1.8 aperture, so let's go. Alright guys, so it turns out there's a production happening just behind me. I think it's like a rope production, so let's get some B-roll on the Canon EOS M. So what we're going to do right now is head over, get some lunch, and then we'll head over to Acme. And then it's got some beautiful electronics, beautiful stuff on display, which will test out low light.
Now before I made my way to the Acme Center, I was feeling quite hungry, and so I went over to the Starbucks coffee to get some lunch. It definitely can't beat a shot like this. I'm gonna shoot with the Sigma 18 at 18 mil, and I'm gonna stop it down. This is Flinders Street Station. solid this handle is like the best thing that I've ever got for my ESM it's absolutely amazing all right guys this is hardware lane I'm gonna go and test out the Canon EOS M get some raw footage going on the Sigma 18 to 35 over here and then just across the road is the Acme Center and that's where we're going to test out the low light on the Sigma 18 to 35. So let's shoot some B-roll. Alright guys, here we are, and this is Acme. Now I'm not sure if they allow for cameras inside, but I'm just going to bring it anyway. Got my bag here, should be good. Now as you make your way into the Acme Center, there is lots of technology on display. There's the past, present and future technology, so it's great to see some stuff. I even saw the Blackmagic Pocket 6K on how it got created, as well as the Ursa Mini, so yeah, really cool place. All right guys, it's now time to test out the Kenlius M, the Speed Booster and the Sigma 18 to 35. I'm gonna put this combo to the test. I'm gonna shoot at 2.8K to 2.5K and just shoot at F1.2. I'm also gonna bump the ISO from 100 to 160 just so we get more light to the sensor and we can always denoise in post if we have to. So let's go head on inside.
All right, guys, so that concludes the test. Absolutely had a ball with this rig over here. The Sigma 18 to 35, the Kennedy OSM for speed booster, and then this power bank. Now the power bank, my goodness, I just checked the percentage, it's 75% from 100. Can you believe that? I've been shooting a whole lot of clips and it still won't die. So if you're looking to get great battery life out of your camera, then a power bank to a dummy adapter is a great solution. Now on the top over here, this is a nice rig top handle. And I have to say that this thing is absolutely fantastic to carry around. You got these little uh, curves and they fit nicely in between your fingers. So when you're holding like this, you're not gonna feel that little flat surface that you get from most top handles. It's got a nice concave uh, curve that really fits well with your fingers. Now as for the Sigma 18 to 35, what do you guys think? Are you happy with the footage? Uh, I haven't seen the low light footage yet, so I don't know how noisy it's gonna be. Hopefully not. Uh, but all in all, it's a great lens, 18 to 35 with a constant aperture of f1.8. And with a speed booster, it can go all the way down to f1.2, which is absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on what you think about the footage, and I'll check it out in the comments below. But for now, I'm gonna continue on with the day, maybe shoot a few more clips, maybe visit the camera store, who knows? But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.